Hey folks, Dr. Wally here. It's been a little while since I made a video, so I wanted to come back and talk to y'all a little bit about some of the new frames we have. If you haven't been to the store lately, you'll see that we've added a few more designer frames. We've got our new Lindberg's that are on display back there. That's one of our designer brands, and we have some other ones that, that we've brought in as well. So I wanted to answer the question, you know, what makes the difference between a designer frame and a traditional frame? We still mostly sell traditional frames and they're good quality frames and they're going to do really well, but there is a market for more high-end designer frames. So I just want to show you all what the differences are between them. So the difference really comes with the construction. So this is going to be a traditional frame. It's made of plastic and it also has this metal insert on the inside here. And so that metal insert is made of steel, which tends to be a little bit more heavy, a little bit more brittle. And then you've also got the hinges here. So you can see the hinges, I don't know how well you can see that, but it has two pieces there. The piece that's right here will tend to, over time, as you take this off and on, one of the, the weak points I see is this will actually separate. And so people will bring me glasses sometimes where this piece has completely separated from the temple. And once it does that, besides using super glue or soldering gun, we can't really fix it. We basically just have to replace the frame at that point. So you can see this is an ethnicity frame. It's a little bit nicer quality frame. The temples are made of titanium, which is more flexible and lightweight. And then you can see on the hinges here, it actually has a piece here that screws in. So it actually screws in there, and this is actually welded and mounted to the frame. So that little barrel is never gonna come off like that. It's never gonna break. Now, not to say it won't break if you sleep on it or you step on it or something like that, but generally it's gonna hold up over time with wear and tear. So that's the difference between some plastic frames. And now we have some rimless frames over here. And this is a traditional rimless frame, which as you know, with rimless frames, they're super lightweight. And the difference in construction is gonna be here in the temple. You have a plastic temple and then it's got your metal insert. And then the hinge is made very similar to the other hinge there. It's a little bit nicer hinge there, but the weak points on the rimless frames are where it's mounted to the lens. So you can see you've got two little screw holes that are drilled into the front of each side of the lens where it mounts onto the back side right there. And there's a little piece that snaps this together and it's basically just held together with that piece there. So over time, as you take these off and on, those little pieces tend to separate over time. In fact, somebody came in this morning and they had slept on theirs and it was starting to separate. So to fix that, we have to send it back to the lab and get it remounted to the lens there. So these are our Lindbergh rimless frames and these are made of titanium. They're a lot more lightweight and flexible and you can see I can bend these things all the way out and nothing's gonna happen to these. They're not gonna break. And these are not mounted into the lens like that, they're actually mounted onto that little groove there. And the hinge here is super durable and flexible. And this actually, to mount this, you just can pull this apart and it snaps back together. So I can easily replace the lenses in that. Whereas with these, we have to cut new lenses because of the way it's constructed. But again, made of titanium, so super lightweight. Even though the other ones are really lightweight, these are even more lightweight. You can really feel the difference. And this is the same brand, this is another Lindbergh. It just has a different way that it's mounted, but you can see there's no glue or anything. It looks like it's holding it together. So overall, these are super nice frames, really high quality, and those are the main differences. So hopefully you've enjoyed this, and if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Thanks for watching.